And we have a new feast in Godric, the so-called Angler's Feast. And not surprisingly, it's all about fishing. There are fishing quests, and with these fishing quests, you get, most importantly, you get the baits for which you will have to fish. And you get these baits by doing regular activities, in this case, defeating normal rebel groups, gathering, transporting and resources, um, fishing itself, uh, using regular baits or advanced baits and getting specific points. And these are refreshed every day. And then you have quests which are there during the entire event. And this event lasts five days, which is basically using the baits a specific number of times and catching specific types of fish. There are three locations where you can fish. You can fish in Mount Kodilin, in God's Ice Lake and the Trident. And each place has its unique fish. You have here the Green Sunfish, Rock Bass, Long Nose Minnow, in the God's Eye Lake you have the Olive Flounder, Black Bass and the Gold Shiner and in the Trident you have the Pumpkin Seed, the Cutthroat Trout and the Golden Trout. Not surprisingly, the left one in all these cases, for instance in the Mode Colon one, Hayden one, sorry, the Green Sunfish is the easiest to catch and then you have the Rock Bass which is a little bit more difficult to catch and then you have the Blood Nose Minnow which is the most difficult to catch. When you catch these fishes, they weigh a particular weight. And for each weight, you get a specific number of points. These points you can then use in the shop to get particular rewards. In this case, what is the most interesting reward in my opinion are the following. It's the SS Universal Troop Medals, it's the Outstanding Commander Selection Pack, especially for free-to-play players, it's the Epic Cross of Essence for which you'll have 20 in total, I only bought 20, so you can see what I found interesting, and you can get diamonds, and yeah, many diamonds. Well, what about the other ones? But the other ones interesting? I would not really say so. Because, for instance, these other two pendants, you can get these easy from other rewards. If you look at the Epic General Tokens and the Elite General Tokens, they are a bit pricey, I would say, because if you do a quick math, you can see that this would require 6.3 thousand diamonds to buy. And in the VIP shop, they are less expensive. And also, these Elite General Tokens, you can get these also from the Weirwood. So, are these interesting to take, I guess? No. So from the second row, you have the Refined Rough. And you have these Watchstones, which you already can get from other various places. The same goes for the Blessing Stones, that's not interesting. The rare crystal essence, the A type, you can get them from so many places. So, the only thing I would say in this case, which is interesting here, is, uh, is the diamond that you can get. The diamonds you get a thousand for a thousand points. So, that's basically a lot of that you can get. I mean, in theory, it allows you almost to get one million diamonds. And these diamonds you can use, for instance, to buy these epic jungle tokens. If you go to the Fishpedia, you can see already here the fish themselves. If you catch each one of these fish the first time, you also get points. So that's a nice addition to have. So it's definitely already worth it to go fishing for each fish themselves. And let's pay attention first to where we get bonus points because here in the top left you see for instance the lucky points in this case it's the green sunfish in mode Kalen. you get extra points for that so 
if I go fishing, and I go in Lord Halen, you can see here, I have my rod, and I have my bait. I already used the normal fish bait. I have an advanced bait. It doesn't matter so much because on the advanced bait just basically means you can get the more difficult to catch fish first. You can cost also 10 times, but just let it cost one time, make it easier. You just simply cast your rod, you throw it out, and you see her nice to hook, alternating between blue, green, and again blue. The only thing you have to do is just hit it when it hits green, and then you, you have your fish. And in this case, it's a rock bars. You see the weight, you see the points of it. Rock bars, in this case, is the medium one to get difficulty wise. If this would be a green sunfish, I would get not only the points based upon its weight, but also an additional bonus. In this case, it's 30%. Now let's cast again, maybe we'll be lucky and get it. There we go. And we are lucky in this case. We got the green sunfish. As you can see, there's a 30% additional points that you get for catching this one based upon its weight. So if you go fishing, be really careful and first check where are these lucky points where you can get them. And based upon that, then you go to the actual fishing and you select the, the area where you want to fish. If it's a more difficult one to catch, let's say if it's the God's Eye Lake where I have to catch the Golden Shiner, you see advanced bait. If it's any of the other ones, just use the, the simple baits and usually an advanced bait will also get you there. That is basically it. It's just fishing for points. Now there is also a ranking list. There is the overall ranking list but also you can see per particular fish based upon its weight. The happiest cost of which was caught Get the most points and you can actually see who these people are i'm not in this ranking because i did not finish so well and at the end of this day the top 100 players will receive the following rewards you can see it it's five s stones you've got five ss troop medals and you've got some epic general tokens you can also see on the top right how you did yourself and see how many points in this case I got. I didn't buy anything additional, so this is already a good way to get many points. And actually, it's the best way for free to play commanders to get those pay to play commanders. So, it's a funny uh, thing this Angler's Feast. Uh, will it be returning? Well, we'll have to see how often. We'll have to find out as well. Is it a nice thing to have in this game? Absolutely, it's a, it gives lots of free stuff and it's, it's not that difficult to play. 